Hey, how's it going guys? Bainy here and welcome to how to generate an income online using Facebook ads. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to configure your web events. Um, this is a bit of an extra video. I've actually got this video at uh, video 28 in this course, but I've just found recently that it might be a little bit too far down the course and people might be getting stuck um, because sometimes you can't create custom audiences until these web events, um, these, this web configuration is set up. So I thought I'd put it in here. I'll also leave it at video 28, so it's in, the, in here twice. So just in case um, you can't get it done this time, then you can do it later on in the track. But um, I just wanted to quickly shoot this one, show you how to configure your web events just so you can make the custom audiences and, and don't get confused and that, that's all. So um, before I get started, guys, if, you follow, if you're following along and you like the content I put out, hit that subscribe button for us. Uh, it really helps my channel grow. If you have any questions, um, obviously leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it. So. Let's just jump into it. Um, your account, when you're first getting started, will probably look something like this. Um, so we want to head to the resource center and this little warning sign here. It's going to let us know that we have to configure our web events. So here's one way you'll find it. If it shows up here, great. Just go to review events and we'll come up with a page like this, which is what we want. But for, if for some reason it's not here at all, there's no warning signs or anything like that. You can still get to it. You still need to go to it through this way. Go to the three lines, go to events manager, then scroll down to this, this thing here, uh, event measurement, then configure web events. So it takes us to the same page. So what we want to do is you're probably just going to have the one domain. Uh, it's going to have zero events on it. So it's going to look very similar to this one here. So we just want to click the drop down box, go to manage events, go to edit. If you're running ads, it's going to stop your ads for 72 hours while you do this. So you probably shouldn't be running ads yet anyway, if you're just first getting started. So you want to go to add event, pick your pixel. And you want uh, the highest value one at the top. So purchases obviously at the top. Turn that on if you can. Probably when you're first getting started, it's not going to allow you to turn this on. Um, so just leave it for now. But maybe come back in you know two or three months and just turn it back, turn it on. Next one down would be add payment info. Initiate checkout. So that's how you want to set up your events. So it's going to say there's eight events filled because there's four of these events and then it's, and then it's got these here. So this, like I said, you're probably not going to have, you're not probably not going to be able to turn that on. Um, if you've got that turned off, you'll only have five of the eight spots filled, which is fine. Um, just remember to come back in, you know, in a, a month or so after you get a lot of sales, come back and turn that on. It shouldn't pause it for 72 hours. It shouldn't um, just by turning that on, but you know, it might, and you sort of need to do it anyway. So just do it. Um, so you make sure they're set up like that. Purchases, add payment info, initiate checkout, add to cart, view content and come down here and simply go apply. Conf confirm that, then apply again. And okay. So that's probably gonna take 72, if your ads are running, they're probably gonna pause it um, and you know, update everything in the background. So that should be all set up now. I just thought I'd, I'd shoot this extra video because um, recently I seen someone that was um, trying to make custom audiences and these weren't um, these weren't configured yet and I had this video in the course a lot later on so it was probably a little bit too far down the course so I thought I'd throw it in here I'll call it 10.1 so it's just after setting up the pixels and stuff like that so and your standard events so then you can jump straight into this and, and, and configure all this so it's all done um, to start off with if for some reason you go in here and it's not letting you pick any events uh, then you might have to um, maybe run some traffic first and, and activate those events. I don't think they should. They should come up automatically um, because these ones here haven't been used for a while. I think it said they haven't been used for more than a month and they're still there. So um, if they're not there, then you might have to run some traffic for them to show up and then do this, but they should be there anyway. So 
yeah, so that's it for this video, guys. On the next one, I show you how to set up your custom columns and stuff like that so you can read your data correctly. So I'll see you on that video, guys.